My name is Diego Zapata. Uh, I'm the resident biologist here at Metabolic Studio, and today we'll be collecting seed and walking through the process from collection, processing, to storage here at the moon. First and foremost, uh, it's important to recognize that we are on Tongva Keech Gabrielino land, uh, and they are the original stewards of seed of our living systems. And so with that in mind, I always want to like be mindful when we collect seed because um, what we've been taught from our elders, from our indigenous elders and our indigenous community is that whenever you take something, you also have to give back. Um, there is reciprocity to any relationship, to any action that we do. Um, and so when we're out in the field, when we're collecting seed, before we ever do that, we give an offering to the plant, to the land. Um, and traditionally, what we uh, give back is tobacco, although you can use a number of things. You can give a piece of your hair, you can give plant water, anything that, that um, will continue that cycle of abundance that we see happening here at the moon uh, is a good offering. The species that we're collecting today is called California mugwort. Um, scientific name is Artemisia douglasiana. This plant in particular is, is a relic plant. In other words, it's a plant that existed here um, at the moon before any one of us ever have. It's also a very sacred plant. Uh, it's, it's very ceremonial. It's used uh, throughout many indigenous uh, communities throughout California. Well, I usually bring a paper bag. It's super important when you're collecting seed to have paper or something that's permeable because if you collect in plastic, then odds are that seed will spoil really quickly if you don't get to it soon. Mm -hmm. Generally, also, it's really good to ensure that when you're collecting, that you let the seed dry out a little longer before you process it. The other species that we're collecting today is uh, white sage. Scientific name is Salvia piana. It's also another very sacred and ceremonial plant. Um, most of us are familiar with the practice of smudging, a practice that indigenous people have been doing for, for centuries now, uh, and it's typically done before any sort of ceremony. And so if you store seed with other chaff, other leaf material, flower material, that, mater that biomass might spoil in storage. And different species have like different sort of nuances to process. Some things are easier than others. This mugwort is actually splitting apart very easily. That's just a good sign that the seed was ready. If it's resisting you, then odds are you collected it too early. Timing is really important when you collect seed. You also don't want to collect too late because, you know, the plant will drop a lot of its seed, so it'll be harder for you to collect a good quantity. Over time, if a seed's just left in the environment, little little bugs, little organisms will get to it before you do. And so the seed that you collect might not be good anymore just because it was consumed. You'll notice there's also leaf material and other stuff, other bits that you don't really want with your seed. After you've uh, processed the seed a little bit, this is a very useful tool. It's just a seed sieve. Each of them has a different grade. That runs from larger to smaller. If you really want to get fancy, uh, th these seed sieves come with a machine that shakes it like uh, mechanically, but I like getting my hands a little, I like getting my hands in there. See that all these bits that you don't want with your seed stay above. Here's actually the good seed that we actually want to collect. More good seed. This stuff has a few like flower petals on it. You can see what that looks like. At this point, there's one final step to this because you'll find, you, you, you notice that the seed is pretty much in three distinct grades here. I'm actually gonna combine all of these together and I'm gonna run it through our seed blower. So welcome to uh, the Metabolic Seed Bank. Uh, I want to show you the, the next step of how we process seed to be really high quality for, for long-term storage. Uh, this guy, this is a seed blower. It's pretty much just a glorified leaf blower. So you can see the leaf blower part of it down here. Um, it runs on electricity and what it essentially does is it runs air, a wind through this column, 
And through this gauge, we can pretty much um, control how much wind actually passes through the seed when you put it down here. What this machine does is it removes everything that by density, because what you might think is seed is actually like not viable. You can you see how it crushes really easily. It's just empty casing. You don't want that seed to be in your final batch when you store it because it will also spoil. So here's all of our mugwort seed that we have. I'm gonna put this into this receptacle. Come here, put it in here, and it'll get a little loud. It's on now. This will control how much wind passes through, right? So as you can see, the more I turn, the more come up. And so we want to do this a couple of times. Right now, I want to just feel by eye like what's a good amount of wind to get rid of all the extra chaff. So this is all just uh, chaff right now. Here at our seed bank, we have these nice little labels. Scientific name, common name, a QR code that will uh, send you to a, a, a website that talks more about its ecology and importance and its use. Now that's all just pure. Oh, actually there's a few chunks in there that are not seeds, so we'll have to run it again. But that's okay. In fact, because those leaves are still fresh, they're probably still heavy. So what we might need to do here is actually just uh, store the seed uh, in the open air to allow all that chaff to dry out really well. Seed will always maintain internal temperature, uh, internal moisture, but um, chaff will not, leaves will not, they dry out. So I'm gonna run this again at a later date. But for now, I'm gonna store it here. And this doesn't look like a lot of seed, but you can literally grow a couple thousand plants, a couple thousand mugwort plants just with this small quantity of seed. But now I also want to walk you through all of our other seeds that we've managed to collect over time. So this is our seed bank. All these shelves uh, pretty much carry thousands, hundreds of thousands of seed um, that ranges from native plants um, that have uh, medicinal or edible value, uh, another, a number of other native plants that are really good uh, uh, fiber mediators. So in other words, they are really good at taking up heavy metals, breaking down petrochemicals, um, working with other living systems like mycorrhizae, fungi, bacteria to facilitate that process. Um, number of riparian species that are native to the LA River and also a bunch of food uh, seed. So this is like uh, not original not a cornfield seed. Here we have fava beans that were grown um, at the anabolic. We also have South Central fava beans sunflowers, tepary beans, just a number of food plants that we employ to continue to take up lead, feed ourselves, feed community. Uh, and again, the point of the seed bank is really not to like just preserve seed for the long term, although there's certain utility to that, but mostly to ensure that we can open source all of these biological resources to community, to nonprofits, to organizations that are really trying to do the work of one, advocating for our living systems, and two, healing our land, empowering community to do that. This is just a constant uh, labor of love. Um, each of these seeds was collected by hand. We process them with community, within the team, uh, and we are always advocating for this seed to be activated across Los Angeles, across the LA River, um, to be in the hands of people who really would benefit from having these resources um, uh, to employ in, in, in their homes. This is our, our seed bank, and if anyone is ever interested in getting seed, uh, you know where to come. Uh, hit us up at Metabolic Studio. Um, and if you also want to learn how to process seed, that's what we're here for. Thank you.